What's up everyone? My name is Lehua and welcome to the Superfina channel where we like to review games by sharing our impressions and how we played the game. And today we are reviewing the game Dungeon Stars. Dungeon Stars is a hack and slash RPG endless runner. The story of Dungeon Stars is we have heroes delving into dungeons to defeat goblins threatening their home. In the dungeons, there are multiple levels and each level either has loot, treasure, or a hero to save. When we play the game, we start with one hero and as we play and defeat each level, we can uncover other heroes to add onto our party. We can have as much heroes as we can get, but as we play, our party is up to three heroes. Our heroes are constantly moving, meaning they're always moving forward, always moving their weapons, hacking and slashing until they defeat the enemies. And there are hordes of them, hordes of goblins, and there's some that are going to be kind of difficult to defeat. There is going to be some pressure going on because our heroes are constantly moving. We have to defeat the enemies and then the enemies attack us and we can't stop. And if we're not good at blocking, our health is going down. And once you see your health down, then there's more pressure going on. In the next scene, I will be explaining the mechanics and how we played the game. Here are the controls. What I wanted to point out was the buttons and its mechanics. So we look over here, we have A as slam, B as attack, and Y as block. Now slam is a powerful attack. What happens is it's a slow, yet it has like a hard slam to the ground, which damages multiple enemies or breaks shields. By breaking the shield, what happens is there are enemies that are going to have a shield, which means its defense are pretty powerful. And regular attacks are not going to do much. But once we use the slam, it breaks the shield and our regular attacks are much more effective. Then we have block. Block does work. When we are fighting against an enemy, it's really important to utilize the block. That way our health does not deplete. And then we have attack. Even though our characters are constantly moving forward and they're constantly attacking, we can control the attacks by attacking certain pieces, certain times, etc, etc. Our heroes also have abilities. They have up to three abilities which they unlock as they level up. And these abilities can be utilized with our arrows left, right, and down and our abilities do have a cooling time. The cooling time will determine on how many enemies our heroes defeat. Since we do have three heroes in one party, we can switch them out by utilizing these buttons, the bumpers and the triggers L and R. We want to switch out the heroes because certain color goblins are going to be weak against certain color heroes. So we have over here, Green is powerful than blue. Blue is more powerful than red, and red is more powerful than green. Let's go backwards. Green is weak to red, red is weak to blue, and blue is weak to green. Here is the main page where we can get to our heroes, inventory, store, or access the star portals. Let's check out the heroes. Here we have June Dipper. A dragon by mage, he is green. He is weak to red but more powerful than blue. If you notice, his level is pretty low. He has only one ability to use. He does not have a pet, but he does have accessories to equip to help him throughout the gameplay. This is Frang, Tundra Thief. His color is blue, so that means he's weak to green but more powerful than red. Compared to June Dipper, he has more abilities. He has three. He has a pet that he can utilize and is part of his abilities. And here we have Radoff. He is red, so he is weak to blue, but more powerful than green. If you notice, he is also a little bit more leveled up. He got promoted. He does have three abilities and he has a pet that goes along to 
one of his ability and the reason why some of our heroes are leveled up is because we met the requirements if you see over here we have a promote area where the star and these little icons that show what is required now for him to get promoted again we need to have that accessory that necklace and we need to have those little talismans so we got five out of two but we don't have the funds we need to reach about ten thousand for him to promote and with june dipper we have the funds but we don't have that talisman to promote him let's check out the loot Loot is aka inventory. This is a list of everything we acquired through the dungeons or we bought through the store. We can also sell to help increase our funds. This is the store. It looks a little sketchy, but it has great stuff. What we can see is we have revive potion, which is about 20,000 gold. That is a lot. So it is a little pricey in here. Icy Claw, 5,000. Gem of Force, 500. Fire Mirror for 4,000. And as you notice, we only have 4,300 in our wallet. And over here, Fire Essence. This is where we got that accessory to promote Radolf. And to our right, we have the star portals. This is where we enter the dungeons. Here we have the portal. It is an archway. It's lit up. It has a star filled in, but we do have two other portals behind us, which have question marks. Throughout the levels in the dungeon, we are going to acquire some dungeon bonuses, meaning it's going to enable us to enter these bonus archways behind us but we only have one time chance with them. I acquired a bonus dungeon before, but unfortunately I didn't finish it. I died and then I couldn't get that bonus again. It was a one time thing, one shot and you're done. Here is a list of dungeons we can acquire. If we go back to one over here we can see all the dungeons we already completed and for some reason there's some that we can replay back to two these are all the dungeons we have not unlocked yet meaning we can't go to the next dungeon until we finish the one before that and the thing i want to point out from here is all the way at the bottom over here we see this sisters of battle sorceress only that means that this dungeon can only be completed by a sorceress we don't have a sorceress yet so that kind of foreshadows that we're going to acquire her later on right like over here hero rescue is that going to be our sorceress and over here we have pet rescue is that going to be june dipper's pet or is it going to be the sorceress pet we'll find out later on in this area, I like to call it the lobby, we pick what heroes to put in our party before we go into the dungeon. We're going to pick all three because it's much easier. I've tried to do it with just one or two and oh my gosh, when you have that third hero, ooh, it is, it makes a difference, like for reals. After we have our heroes, we can choose to go on the next level and it does show us what to expect. It even has like colors for like boss goblins so we know what hero to pick for that boss fight. Onward to the gameplay! I'm not pressing anything over here. Our hero is hacking and slashing on his own but if we want to make it quicker, we will attack. Attack, attack, attack. What is weak to red? It's green, but what's more powerful than red? It's blue. So we're going to change to blue. And if you see over here, our attacks are a lot more powerful. We're defeating our enemies much faster. So here we have a goblin with a shield. So we're going to use slam to break that shield. So I want to show you guys the block. See that block there? It is effective. His health is only going by single digits, but because there's two of them, it is taking a hit to our health. So over here, we're back in the lobby, and if you notice, we have a healing potion and a revive potion. 
Fortunately, after every level, we come back to the lobby, and if our hero's health is depleted or they've died, we can use the potions to either revive them or bring back their health. Since we got the talisman, let's see if we can go to the heroes and see if we can promote June Dipper. So we're gonna press the plus sign. Here we are! We're back to the heroes and we can promote June Dipper! Yay! So let's get there. Let's promote him. There we go. Promote. Bam! And here we go. He's been promoted. So we got a second ability unlocked. Yeah! yeah. Woo -woo. Woo -woo. Mm, 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 mm. Let's get back to the gameplay. Ooh, so as we can see, our hero was defeated, but the game's not over. So we're going to change back to Radoff. Radoff, he's pretty powerful, so we're going to keep him. Oh no, we got stunned. Oh, Radoff got defeated. So now we're going to utilize June Dipper. June Dipper, do your thing. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, those... Those guys were huge. They were big. They have powerful attacks. I hope June Dipper can survive. So over here we have a goblin that had the shield. So we had to utilize. Over here we just had our last here defeated. Womp womp womp. Since we returned, that means we didn't complete the dungeon. And we have to start all over to level 1 in that dungeon. And that's our Super Fina review of Dungeon Stars, a hack and slash RPG and endless runner. I hope you guys liked this. If you did, don't forget to give it a like. And if you want to see more videos, subscribe and opt for that notification. We are also on social media, Twitter and Instagram at Lehua Superfina. And we stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina on Tuesdays and Thursdays. 10.30 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time and Saturdays 9.30 a.m. Hawaii Standard Time. Thank you guys again for watching this Super Fina review of Dungeon Stars developed by Furnace Games. Hope you guys like this and if you have any comments or opinions, leave them in the comments below and I hope to see you guys later. Bye!